Revenge of the Nerds. In light of the Sony PlayStation 4's release, we want to pay homage to the classic Sony franchises that paved the way for this great console. But we have to lay a few ground rules here. These franchises have to be Sony PlayStation exclusives only. So games like Tekken, Final Fantasy, and Crash Bandicoot are completely out the question. Sad to say, but that's the rules. Here's our top five Sony PlayStation franchises. Number five. Siphon Filter had to be one of my favorite series growing up. You guys have no idea. I mean, me and my cousin used to love these games. I mean, love them. Even part two where it had the uh, two discs, I believe. I would spend the night at his house for the weekend and we would sit there and just run through that whole game nonstop. That's how much we loved it. Gabriel Logan was a monster, man. I mean, it sucks how the last game ended. You know, he got shot four times in the chest, but we don't really know if he died or not. I mean, he's the main character. He could have survived. And just based on that little assumption alone, Sony, you guys should probably just make another siphon filter for the PlayStation 4 so we can see what happened, see if he really died or not. See what's going on with that love interest that was in the last game? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Number four. Number four. We had to make Ratchet and Clank tie with Jack and Daxter because both of these games are very similar with one another. I want to give you my honest perspective of Jack and Daxter. It was one of the very first games I've ever played on the PlayStation 2 and one of the most fun I've ever had in a video game. Ratchet and Clank has a fantastic open world experience, innovative weapons, unique graphics, and how can you not love Clank? Even though I grew up in a household where I had two brothers and considering this game was single player, we still had a lot of fun playing the very first installment of this game. And as I got older, I watched Jack and Daxter grow up to the badasses they are today. Hopefully they bring a new title to the PlayStation 4. Let us know in the comments section which game you think deserves to be in the number 4 spot or do we get it right by letting both games tie? Number 3 My very first experience with Gran Turismo was Gran Turismo 2, but I really didn't love the game until Gran Turismo 3 A spec came out. Pagani Zonda, that's all I gotta say. The car was sick and I can't believe this game actually had it. This game was a great car racing simulator. We had battles in this racing simulation. It was awesome. Even the graphics, when you watched the actual replay of the game, it was sweet, man. The way you were able to customize your car from scratch, and being able to make small and minor tweaks to the car, getting car like oil changes and stuff to your car it was fun. It was interesting. Considering Gran Turismo 6 is coming out for the PS3, you think we won't get it? Sadly mistaken. Number two. Basically, this is how Uncharted was to me. This game was so good, it took me back to my childhood of when Indiana Jones was out, and I wanted to be Indiana Jones. So basically, when Uncharted came out, I pretty much just wanted to just say, F school, F work, and go off and just be an explorer. Because that's honestly, I've just always wanted to do something like that since I was little, and this game just brought that feeling back out of me. Uncharted has to be one of my favorite Sony franchises ever. Just for the simple fact that when I was playing it, it felt like I was playing a movie. Like, I literally saw myself in the game, and I wanted to be Nathan Drake. The action, the adventure, everything was amazing. It's like they hit a home run when they made this game. And what better way to celebrate this amazing franchise than for them to claim that there's already talks of an Uncharted 4 coming to the PS4. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely can't wait because I need another Nathan Drake adventure to make me feel like I'm living another movie sequence. Number one. This was a very difficult decision to make. We were both juggling between Uncharted and God of War, with God of War taking the number one spot due to the fact that it's grandfathered in. 
It's not even that. It's just, it's God of War. This game has a lot of history, especially for what it's done for the PlayStation market. Especially on the Sony PlayStation 2 where it first released and it just turned the gaming industry upside down. And the fact that I will never forget that Hercules battle where he just kept punching him and punching him and punching him. It is, oh my God. That was really mean <laughs> and the, vicious. It, that, that was awesome. <laughs> and painful to watch. I was like, oh, stop. Dude, stop it. Every battle he had with every god was just unbelievable. And that's just from that one game. And God of War has just a lot of games overall. The PlayStation Portable titles. You got the main discs. No, you got the multiplayer. It's just a great game. It's a legendary game. Yeah. That's why it's our number one. We'll see what's up Sony's sleeve in the near future. But as of right now, God of War is their number one franchise, in our opinion. And if you have one, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Yeah, let us know what your top five list would look like. Also, we would love for you to like and subscribe to Nerds of Passwords and the Hip Hop Gamer Show. If there is a top five that you would like to see from NWP Countdown, let us know in the comment section below. Maybe your top five will be our next video. And for that, I'm KB Anime. I'm Sang Fries. And this has been another NWP Countdown.